All right, what's up, YouTube? This video is on dyeing the RC car chassis or any other plastic RC car parts. In this case, my Traxxas slash 4x4 LCG chassis. In order to do this, you're gonna need uh, some dye. Now this is fabric dye. Rit dye, this is liquid, and then there's powder. Both work fine. There's no difference. It's just that one's uh, powder, one's liquid. This can be found in the laundry section of any supermarket or other grocery stores that have a laundry section. It's going to be in that area because it's dyeing fabrics. And in order to do this, you're going to need some sort of tray or container that can hold hot water. In this case, I'm just using a frying pan. Can use other boiling pots. People say that this dye could harm or it could uh, put chemicals in your pot. I'm not sure if it's true. I, but I'm just gonna stay on the safe side and use this fry pan and then just toss it away when I'm done with it. Okay, first you're gonna start by boiling water. That is enough to cover your plastic parts completely. First put water in there and then boil it. After it's boiling, we're gonna add this red dye. Mix it around a bit, put the plastic parts in and then Keep it warm for at least 30 minutes to an hour. The longer it, it's in there, the deeper the color. And I've heard people say that your chassis gets weaker or your plastic part. But I'm not sure. I'll test that out. Okay, so I boiled water and put it in here after 15 minutes. Uh, dark blue. And I'll probably keep it in for another 30 minutes. Alright, here's the chassis after uh, dyeing it black. I didn't use the liquid, I used the powder. I've read that people use the powder more because it's stronger. I'm not sure if that's true though. I'm sure this would still work. Now keep in mind, you only need one if your container is small and will hold the chassis barely. If you're getting an extra big pot with extra water that you don't really need to dye this, then you're going to need more dye to get this black. Okay, this, in order to uh, correctly dye this, you're going to need... If there's 10 sections on the stove for temperature ranges, the 3 out of the 10, 1, 2, and 3 are simmer. I put it on the third one, the highest simmer level you can get. So if you, let's say you have 10, then you just put it on 3. If you have it, 5 of them, put it on 2. Just put it on a temperature where the water steams but it doesn't boil you don't see any air bubbles come up that's the perfect temperature and you could just put this in there for 30 to 45 minutes and once you pull it out you're gonna want to rinse this off with cold water and then just let it dry so here's the black chassis after I dyed it for 45 minutes and then here's the uh, black part They're the exact same Okay, so hope this helped y'all and peace